Brett and today we are talking about optimization, but more specifically, how Harmony 25 can create smaller files for you to store in your database or your computer, whatever works for you. But before I explain to you how to make this feature work, I actually have to show you why you need this feature. So when you think of software, there's mainly two ways that a software can save files. Either it's a single file system, like TV Paint, Photoshop, Flash, where you have just one file that contains everything, or you have multi-file saving system. Think of Harmony, Premiere, After Effects, where you have like one main file that links to many other files. As you guys know, Harmony is a multi-file saving software. There's advantages and disadvantages in both ways. So for example, the advantage of a single file software is that it is convenient to be able to transport this one file. Uh, they can be on the lighter side in terms of like file weights, though can be, it's not always the case. And that's about it, it's really just easier to transport and yeah, there's not much advantage to it actually. However, the advantage of a multi-file system, like you have in Premiere, After Effects, or Harmony, is that if something goes wrong with any of these files, let's say you transfer them and something gets corrupted or you work and then there's a power outage and you, you try to save and it got interrupted, so anything, any corruption that happens in your scene, if you're working from a single file software, you're screwed. The whole file is going to get corrupted and there's little to no way to save it. However, the advantage of a multi-file system is that first, if something gets corrupted, instead of using everything because this one file is corrupted, there's usually something you can salvage. Maybe it be like the drawings or maybe you're going to have the, the stage file is still there so you kept your timing, but maybe the drawings get corrupted because of a power outage. You never know what's going to happen. But by having things separated like this, it just makes it easier to salvage anything. In a single file system, you're screwed. If your one file gets corrupted, everything gets corrupted. The other advantage is really is really interesting. So if you're working in harmony with rigs, we're gonna see that in the element folders, all your layers are there and all the layers have drawings inside. So saving your rig once takes some space on your computer. However, if you wanna make some increments into your work, just like if you were doing hand-drawn, you would save as and create multiple versions like this so that you could go back and you can always increment your saves, which is essential. When you work in cutout, instead of always having to do a save as, you can do save as new version. And save as new versions, what it does is with the same element folder, it's gonna have multiple stage file. So it can have like version one, version two, version three. And the only thing in increments is like your node view and your timeline information. The drawings always stay the same folder. So you can have like an increment of five version and um, it's gonna keep using the same drawing. So of course, if you change one drawing, it's gonna change it on all the five versions. But basically, being having a multi-file system like this allows you to have more flexibility, and that's what you need to remember. However, it does have this advantage. It is, like I said, usually heavier. And this is because, and don't quote me on the number, I'm doing this on memory, <laughs> but if I remember, the minimum file size on most server is like 3K. That means that even if you have a very, very tiny, small drawing, all your server is gonna take that much space per file. So that does get very heavy to, to store. So what they did at Toon Boom is that they found a way to have all your drawing elements uh, saved in a container. That's what the files.vdb is. Uh, it's is your little container for your element folders. Starting with Harmony 25, that container is there by default even though you don't use it. But if you want to use it, follow me, it's pretty easy. So into my scene, I just want to show before that in my element folder here, I have everything um, out in the open. <laughs> all the drawings are there and all that. So I'm gonna make a save as, just to make a completely new version with completely new drawings. I'm gonna call it new, like this. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to scene, scene settings. And in the scene settings here, you, you now have an advanced tab. And in the advanced tab, you can choose the compact option. So now I don't have anything compact, but if I click it, Harmony is going to tell you, hey, this will make your project incompatible with previous versions. Do you want to continue? This is super important, and I'm really glad that they put the message there. Other companies should take the example, because for other software that I've been using, sometimes they have new versions that completely makes your file unusable in older versions. And they don't tell you. So at least Tunu had the decency to tell you that, hey, this is a new way to save files that came with Harmony 25. Harmony 24 and 22 and all that before, they don't understand it. Not because the company is trying to be evil or something. It's just a new way to save files that older softwares don't understand. So my guess is that any future version of Harmony will be okay. It just starts at 25. <laughs> so I'm gonna press okay. I don't care, make this file into the new file system. I'm gonna press okay. 
project compacted successfully. So let's go see what changed into my files. So that is the original and I'm gonna go get the new one. Whoop, there we go. I'm gonna go get my rig right there. So the new one was called new. So you see the amount of files is different. So all my palettes got um, put into this little container. So that's why I no longer have the palette folder. And if I go into elements, there is nothing. But don't panic. It's not that there is nothing. It's that everything was stored into this file container. Okay? So that means that if I need to like compress this file and send it over, it's much more simpler for your computer to handle. And it's going to make the weight of the file way, way smaller. So if I compare both of them, this one is... 67 rows and this one is 93 so you see the difference in size is pretty drastic even for this small little file so that's why we created this because for once in it's something but if you do this times maybe eight rigs in the same shot per shot per shows it's incredible how smaller the files are now with this new system however like i said if you save like this you will not be able to open it in earlier versions and if you want to be able to select your things um, one by one, you can always uncompact your scene. And if I go back to my file, I will now see my file has been uncompacted. So I hope that this was helpful and I strongly encourage you to use this compact file system because it's pretty cool. Have a nice day.